Hello, this is Not a Spring Chicken. The big news today is, of course, um, Obama is out there talking about, what is he talking about, green energy or something? He's talking about the economy. The, oh, yes, the economy and how, well, let's just say, you know, when you're campaigning, it's always a great time to take whatever you're speaking about and turn it into a campaign speech, right? Not in front of the press, it's not. <laughs> Well, somebody didn't tell him about that. But, you know, talk about taking care of the opportunity. <laughs> so, anyway. But news still continues, and we're going to bring old Cam on with comments on the headlines of today. It's cooking. We're making cookies. Yeah. Especially all those things that say you're not supposed to cook in a microwave. Oh, we do it. I mean, I can, oh, President Obama would probably be telling you you can't cook in a microwave. But in his campaign speech today, I think he's concluded... Well, you know that uh, it is a falsehood that we've that government programming group programs have grown during our administration, and that we are business friendly and we want to help the, we want to help people get lower prices of petroleum, and we basically uh, our 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 health care plan is going to considerably lower the cost of health care, and that um, uh, basically uh, oh and what was it the other great thing he was, he was telling people oh. Uh, something else, I, it, but, but basically he got questioned. He did it in front of the AP today, folks. It was an AP meeting, and he basically, oh, oh, I remember what it was. We continually offer to cut entitlements, uh -huh. and um, Republicans are the party of no. They will not join us in cutting entitlements. And I, okay, one of the people asked, tell me what entitlements you've ever offered to cut. And another one, they did. he said, do you honestly tell us that the government has not grown? And basically what happens is, when I have to cover cover his ears because everyone knows the, the ground that the president worked, walks on, basically he, he's going to be working for Fox News soon. But the, um, the president, when he gets at questions, he does not like answers. He goes, uh -huh. he gives them the, the look and they know they should not. You don't go into a room full of sharks and lie to the sharks, folks. Mm. And another botch proves Obama can't be trusted with secrets. Oh yeah, basically Obama once again blew the whistle on somebody else that he didn't approve of. And um, basically uh, what's going to happen is he's going to get a lot of people in these countries slaughtered. And when that happens, he, I mean they pointed out, I mean once again last night, uh, basically, it's a common thread of his pollsters. Who the hell is running this man's campaign? Because he does nothing but non-stop messing things up and expects to win. I mean, he's now lost the married woman vote in this country over oh, really? the high prices of petroleum, of which I have no control over. But I'm the one. That I I'm there to help women and their families. But I have no control because George Bush and the Republicans caused this problem. Mm -hmm. That's his campaign strategy. George Bush and the Republicans. And Bully focuses on intolerable cruelty. The problem is, it's just a crappy movie. I mean, basically, they, it's uh, one of these things like, okay, well, let's see. They made a snuff movie where they, they actually showed the killing of people. No, they didn't. <laughs> it, it's, it's, a, it's a thing. that They said that Bully, uh, I heard saw one of the reviews, they said that, uh, frankly, he'd seen, his, he'd seen his sister do more to his son than he had seen in that movie going on. Oh, really? And he said, you want to know what bullying is? Try an older sister with a little brother. Mm -hmm. Then you know what bullying is. And another botch proves Obama can't be trusted with secrets. You know, she likes that one. Well, because... She, because it, <laughs> she said, she, it's how you know it's live because she does the same news item more than one time. Well, because it keeps happening again and again and again. Yeah. Well, oh, it will yeah. continue to happen until until he's reelected to the president. So. And California campaign treasurer charged in seven million dollar fraud. She just stole money that didn't, you know, but what happened? Oh, really? Well, the problem is, is that Democrats. Okay, Democrat. Uh, okay, the difference between a Republican and a Democrat is, a Democrat will find a wallet in the street and and say it's his. A Republican will find a wallet in the street, take the money out of it, and send the wallet back. This is Democrat's train of thought. The Democrat just assumed, well, it's $7 million. It was my money. I'm a Democrat. Ah, and Bernanke not ready to declare victory. There is no victory. I mean, I'm going to give you screwy... Okay, today, they made this grand announcement in the Obama administration that the auto industry is back. People are now buying more small cars than bigger cars, and last month was record sales 
And the company's lost on an average 3% of their value today because everybody out there in the real world knows that one, you can't get the money to buy a car. Two, they don't, well, I want, we're going to try explaining explain it in terms that people can understand. We went to an event last night full of every left-wing person in the universe in the state of California. The place looked like it was a parking lot for SUVs. Mm -hmm. There was very few small cars. They had levels and SUVs. If you were driving a small car, you worked there. You didn't go to the event. And Syria accepts peace plan, but clashes continue. Well, yeah, they're accepting the peace plan because they've won the war. <laughs> because uh, Obama basically couldn't do anything. He who, he who controls Damascus controls the uh, gateway to the Middle East. And, and Assad and the military control of Damascus until you, okay, the trick is the people want to be able to eat so that Damascus is harbor, and that's the only way you're going to be able to win that war. And boy beaten near Paris, a uh, Jewish school amid tensions. Well, you know, the Muslims are basically, it's, the Muslims are definitely disliked in France and they want to throw their butts out of the country, but they're having a problem, so, um, I mean, they set cars on fire, they burn businesses, they do not like the Muslims in France. They actually don't like Muslims anywhere in Europe. Uh, there is a zero tolerance towards uh, outsiders in all these countries. Nationalism, is just, nationalism has not been this high since right before World War II. And FBI said to have gathered intelligence on California Muslims. Yeah, and they gather my intelligence on lost on, on Florida Muslims and say and and Las Vegas Muslims and Washington Muslims and it that's they get a situation normal. And the nightmare of living uninsured in America. There's no nightmare of living uninsured because there is no such thing as a person that can't get medical care. Oh, there's, is that for regarding medical care? I'm sitting there looking at the tornado warnings in Texas. You could get medical care. Okay, this is all talking about, once again, those multiple millions of people that don't have health insurance. Well, the majority of them happen to be illegal aliens and aren't entitled. So what happens is they clog up the health care system. And um, here's another tip for people that basically say, we need to provide health care. Well, God, if you just took money and get paid for their health care, you'd, you'd save mm -hmm. trillions of dollars of money if you just paid for it. And clashes overshadow Syria a ceasefire. Yeah, because there, when is a ceasefire not a ceasefire? When the guy that's basically being attacked is actually the victor. And Trump won't bar transsexual beauty queen from Miss Universe. It's called political correctness. And, uh, and, and okay. Mike, okay, the way it works is the Miss... And they'll probably win. The Miss Universe pageant, or, or the Miss America pageant, has been who has the worst disability or the family crisis, and they're the ones that are going to win. That's why you got to ask them. Oh, you mean your father nearly beat the hell out of you when you were a kid? Well, you deserve to win. Oh, you lost hearing? You can't hear? I... Uh, I think you the you should be the winner. Oh, you've only got one leg. Well, you're the winner. I know that's bad. When did it ever start becoming like that? Because it became politically correct a few years ago. Instead of being the um, is that the one with the lady with the um oh, not crutch but um yeah, well no, she got a bad missing leg or something. That's yeah, the way it works. She lost the leg. So this is how it is done nowadays. Is who has the worst who has recovered from the worst problem. That's the people that were, no, people don't watch these shows anymore because of that. When it was a, when it was strictly a ridiculous When it was a beauty pageant, pageant People like watching. to see them come out and sing bad songs or sit there and, 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 and play a flute or a banjo or something when they were trying to tap dance or, or reciting poetry. Uh, it always made, it, 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 people laughed at it. It was funny. Now, it, but then they, they decided, well, we need to go to more, rea more real out reality. And it, they all died. Every beauty pageant in the country died when they decided to make it more realistic. And Mormon question sparks tense moment at Romney event. Because they're not going to elect the Mormon folks. Because the guy has already shown with Obamacare that he, you think that he's going to enforce the laws about marriage and stuff because he's a Mormon. Don't count on it. His Justice Department will be just as bad as, as the... I mean, that they said that Whoever Romney appoint will probably join Holder in the same jail cell if he becomes president. Oh, really? Yeah. And a Monty Bubbleism from the Mark Twain of the Animal Kingdom. That if you don't go for it when the opportunity arrives, it often passes you by forever.